Hello and good morning everybody. My name is Sir Rafael and I will be teaching you in 3. Now everybody take out your Wonder World uh, Environmental Studies textbooks and turn with me to page 29. Today we will be continuing with lesson number 4, Animals and Insects. So today we will be learning about camouflage. Look at the word camouflage. Have you seen that word before? Learn the spelling. Okay, it's a big, it's a big word. C A M O U, C A M O U, F L A G E. Camouflage, right? Now, what is camouflage? Camouflage is a trick that animals use to blend with their surroundings. This helps them to hide from their enemies and hunt. When a tiger hides behind a tall, behind tall grass, its stripes match the color of the grass so nobody can see it this is called camouflage the grasshopper's green body on a green leaf and the chameleons changing colors to match the colors around it also keep them safe right so some animals <clears throat> they try to match their body color to the surroundings right have you seen a chameleon a chameleon that can change its color according to its surroundings. When it's near leaves, it will turn green. If it's on the ground, like it will turn brown. It will turn into any color of its surroundings, right? This is to protect itself from uh, predators and other animals that want to hunt the chameleon, right? You may see other animals also doing this kind of thing, changing colors according to their background right so this is camouflage changing colors right on to the next creepy crawlies there are some very small animals which creep crawl jump and fly they are insects worms beetles spiders and grasshoppers how can we tell the difference between these right First, we have insects and worms. Most insects have six legs and two pairs of wings. They do not have backbones and their bodies have hard covers. They feel and smell with feelers. Do you know what feelers are? Look at the cockroach. Look at the picture on the right. You see the two antennae coming, coming out like they are feelers, right? They feel and smell with their feelers. A cockroach is an insect. The body of an insect is divided into three parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen, right? This is, this is an insect, right? An insect's body is divided into three parts. Remember, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen, right? Head, thorax, abdomen, three parts. An worm has a long, soft body divided into many segments. Each segment has a pair of legs that helps it to walk or swim. Some insects like a butterfly look like worms before becoming insects. Let us find out how a butterfly is born. Right? This is very important. The life cycle of a butterfly. Right? A butterfly starts its life as an egg. First it becomes an egg. A worm-like creature called the caterpillar hatches out of the egg. It keeps eating leaves and growing fat. Then it forms a bag around itself called a cocoon and sleep. After some time, the cocoon breaks open and a beautiful butterfly comes out. Right? So, how does a butterfly's life start? As an egg. It first becomes an egg and then it becomes a worm-like creature like a, uh, called the caterpillar, right? Hatches out of the egg and then it keeps eating leaves, growing fat and then it forms a bag around itself called a cocoon, right? Then it becomes a cocoon it goes to sleep. After it goes to sleep, after some time, the cocoon breaks open and a beautiful butterfly comes out, right? So first, egg, caterpillar, out of egg, keeps eating leaves, growing fat, and then forms a bag around itself called cocoon, and then goes to sleep. After 
after some time the cocoon breaks open and a beautiful butterfly comes out like look at the diagram on the right right and then we have beetles and spiders some beetles are brown and black in color the front wings of a beetle changes into a hard shell to protect the back wings fireflies and glowworms that give out light in the dark are beetles have you seen a beetle have you seen fireflies have you seen glowworms they give out light in the dark right you can see them in the dark they are beetles ladybirds are also beetles they are the farmers friends because they eat aphids that destroy crops do you know what an aphid is it's something that destroys crops it it, it eats the crop if, if if they are not destroyed if the ladybirds do not eat these aphids then <clears throat> all of the crops they can get destroyed right so they are very important birds do not eat ladybirds because they are bitter right so we have be we have insects and worms right a cockroach is an insect they have feelers the body of an insect is divided into three parts head thorax and then an earthworm has a long soft body divided into many segments each segment has a pair of legs and helps it walk or swim some insects like a butterfly look like worms before becoming insects right and then remember the life cycle of a butterfly i will give you this for homework and then we have beetles and spiders some beetles are brown and black the in color and then the front wings of a beetle changes into a hard shell to protect its back wings and then some be examples of beetles are fireflies and glowworms uh glowworms that glow in the dark are beetles right and ladybirds are also beetles and then uh yeah uh we'll just go to spiders yeah and then we have spiders right have you seen a spider are you scared of spiders so spiders have eight legs they spin webs with silk that they produce they do not fly but sail through the air at the ends of the silk threads they make right Have you ever seen a spider web? Yes, it's very thin, right? You can hardly see it. So these spiders, they spin these webs, right? This is unique to the other insects and beetles. They do not do this, right? Only the spider uh spins webs, right? And uh we'll get to the uh we'll get through the rest uh, on the next session. And uh I I will provide you homework. uh on the whatsapp group all right we'll end the lesson for today thank you for joining me and i will see you next week goodbye